All right, let's see what we got today. Oh, child lock. Make sure Lincoln doesn't get in the record drawer. Oh, hey there, Nipper. What you doing in there? Let's leave you up here for a moment. All right, what do we got here? We got a... Oh. Nipper. Did you take a nip out of this record? Bad dog. Actually, this is a record I've had for quite some time. Never listened to it. Because when I got it, it was in an album. Actually, I think that album's still down there with a couple other records and with the, the corners broken off. I don't really like albums for storage. They can be used. Uh, fortunately, I still do have the piece for this. And so on this episode of Cracked, we're going to try to put that back together and see if we can't get this thing to play. A little more trickier than last time, huh? So this is a copy of the Clink Clink Polka by Spike Jones and his City Slickers. Must have uh, sunk so bad they broke the record there. Ha ha ha, if you ever listen to Spike Jones. Uh, and then we've got here McNamara's Band. So two sides I'm not familiar with at all. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll hear them once this thing gets uh, playable again. So, uh, got my trusty tools here again. I uh, got my sheet of paper towel so this thing doesn't stick to the table. And I got my 11-year-old uh, super glue pack. Still great. And I got my newly cleaned off desk here. Uh, the record and the chip. Uh, this is known as a... <laughs> yeah, this is what is known in the in in the record world as an edge chip, or um, or bite. It's a pretty decent sized one too. It goes a little more than halfway through the music grooves. So unlike the um, hairline crack, uh, this one's a little more complicated because the pieces are separate and there there needs uh, to be a little bit more stability when we glue these things together. So I am going to lay this on the table, but before I do that. I want to check and make sure the table's actually flat. And so I've got a straight edge here. I'm checking that. Various angles. And I'm not really seeing any... I'm seeing a little bit of light underneath it at certain points. But not a whole lot. So I think this surface is good enough for us to do it on. So let's see what we can do, shall we? All right, so the first thing we got to do is make sure that we got this lined up the right way. And yep, that, that looks like the right, the right side there. Now, I am a little worried because the piece is sitting a little bit below where the record is. Which tells me that not only is this record broken, it also might be a little bit warped. Ah, okay, so if it's a little bit better this way, very carefully we got to get that in there. So, let's try another dry run here. Paper towel before we get the glue in there. Let's make see sure we can get this to lay flat. Let's put this under here. And see if we can get this to go straight in there. Yeah, that looks like it'll be possible. Alright. Let's pull that back out. Grab a glue canister. I don't know which one's open. I don't know which one it might be. Not that one. All right, now I'm tired of knowing or not knowing which glue is already used. So I found the used one and I am going to mark it on both sides with this highlighter. So next time I know which one it is. 
So, let's unscrew the top and let's get applying some glue. Oh, it's already flowing out. So we want this all on the edge here. Alright, so that's all on the inside edge. really want a whole lot of extra glue but we do want a little bit extra and I'll tell you why because looking at this groove here or rather looking at the crack between oh, where the record is where the grooves are where the bite is there's actually a little bit of material that's missing. And in order for this to play well and track, especially along this area here, right along where the crack is, where the, the groove is parallel to the crack almost, we got to have some material there because if it's just a gaping hole, that's no good. So, let me get a, another paper towel. And we'll just wipe that up. Make that nice and even. Yeah, we're getting a little glue in the grooves, but honestly, that's that's pretty tight. And we'll see how that looks tomorrow. But uh, for right now, if you can get in there and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get the light at the right angle. Ah, yeah. Okay, so now you can see the crack a little bit. The crack is here. And really the only way you can tell is because the glue is drying now. And, uh... But at other angles, you can't even really tell if there's any of the crack there at all. So hopefully that'll just work. Okay, I've actually decided to do something a little bit different this time. And I don't know if this will work, and some people will be yelling, Oh, I built you that yet, it's not set. But in order to save myself the trouble of scraping glue out of the grooves after it's all dry and set, I'm actually going to see what I can do to scrape the glue out of the grooves now while it's still not quite set and a little wet and again I've got here my mostly clean still sharp metal needle from my wind-up gramophone and we're just slightly going over the grooves happy little grooves little grooves. Yes, I'll pull a Bob Ross here. We'll try to clean this up with even little scrapes across there. Clean the gunk off the needle there.
All right. So I'll flip it over. And yep, it did stick a little on the other side. Yeesh. Let's see. Press piece together. 15 seconds. Now normally you'd let this stuff set for an hour. Normally. I'm going to see what I can do with it right now. Let's see what happens. All right. So, uh you got to watch the other video to see how the play test went. But uh, we actually got it to play through on the McNamara's band side. It does pop quite a lot, but I don't know. It's a Spike Jones record. It kind of goes with the, the whole theme. Um, clink, clink, polka skipped a bit. Well, it didn't skip. It, it copied a bunch. <laughs> I think we might have a new meme going on there. Just clang, 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 clang. But, yeah, you got to watch that video to, to get in with that amusement. So what we're going to do here... We're actually going to uh, try and add a bit of glue into the grooves on the uh, clink clink polka side in an attempt to, now let's see, can we tell where that might have been hitting that was really causing that rough spot? Oh, it actually might be over here. So actually, I don't know if I'm going to add more glue. Might just do a little more scraping. Because this was, it was kind of near the point right before it got to the last groove. And then it got past that area. And it was great. And actually, it was a little bit of lateral pressure, was all it needed. For me, once my batteries are recharged, all it needed was a little bit of lateral pressure for me to stay in the groove it was in. So what's happening is somewhere, I think it's glue, although it might be the crack, is causing the needle to repeat itself over and over and over again along the same line. And if we remove the material that's causing that, it should play straight through, in theory. Now we don't want to cause too much damage, although admittedly Every line. It's still a pop. Although, interestingly, it's only one pop you really hear. So I'm thinking one side of this is okay, and the other side not so much. Maybe I should look at it again to see if it's the leading edge of the crack or the trailing edge of the crack that's causing the pop and the problems. Actually, there's a lot more material here, so thinking it might be the leading side.
Well, it might not look the prettiest, and it might still have some pops in it, but brother, that record plays. And after uh, some more scraping with the um, the needle, not even adding any more glue, but actually just scraping with the needle, uh, it actually has a little bit less popping, and it no longer um, repeats lines anymore. So uh, you can check that out in the companion video. Uh, the test results of the record um, and yeah hope you enjoy and uh, see you next time uh, making some other videos now I've got one where I um, well as you can see right now I'm kind of in the middle of reorganizing this desk uh, that video will be out pretty soon as well and uh, we got lots more coming for you so uh, stay interested and uh, see you next time on Cracked